And now, from Arizona's largest and most respected broadcast news team, this is Cool News 10. With Bill Close, Mary Jo West, Joe Doherty, and Anthony Martinez. wanted to get his message across. He wanted the world to know what God had told him. He also made it clear with a gun to production assistant Louis Villa's head and his arm around Villa's neck that he was willing to kill to get his story before the public. Shortly after seven, after talks with anchorman Bill Close, who was on the phone with law enforcement officials, Joe agreed to release two of his hostages, floor director Jack Webb and cameraman Bob Semino. Two and a half hours into the ordeal, with cool employees anxiously watching on closed circuit monitors, Joe made his first verbal death threat. He wanted his message to be televised. Us to relay to you. Mr. Gwynn, is it all right for our yes, guest to leave the studio now? All right, you may leave now. This is the script that Mr. Gwynn gave me, and I'm going to read it verbatim. And uh, any time you wish to interrupt me. Uh, all right. And Mr. Gwynn writes, yeah, you're getting the feedback. You're getting the feedback. You're on. Uh, my name is Joe Gwynn. I am a watchman. Read the 33rd chapter of Ezekiel. This is about the story of the 10 prophets. The 10 prophets are Johnny Cash, Ronnie Millsap, Eddie Rabbit, Larry Gatman, Hank Williams, Jr., Rex Allen, Jr., Willie Nelson, Conway Twitty, Loretta Lynn, Lacey J. Dalton, Tanya Tucker, Barbara Mondrell, Joe Gwynn, the traitor. I saw a movie, Islam, is using something called sociology on children in schools across America today. Islam is using this sociology on children. They used it on my generation to start the hippie movement and drugs, and on today's generation to turn them into punks and punk rockers by hypnotism. In the next two years, there will be five new cities started in the United States. Uh, Mr. Gwynn, before I read these cities, is there anything you want to say at this moment? Oh, yeah. All right, thank you. The Bible says that there would be an alliance between the two northern powers that border at the polar circle. Russia is one and Canada is an, the other, unless about 70 million people migrate to Canada and make it a power. This is in the Bible. The angel showed me, but I didn't write it down like all my dreams and visions. Now with my first prediction. Stop. I have something to say for Reagan. Yes. Okay. I'm President. Gonna, I'm going to move this microphone over so that uh, you can. Okay. Why don't you just hold it? Okay. President Reagan, Islam is using sociology on your son, Ricky. Ricky, tell your father what they're doing. They're using sociology and that they use it to turn you into a punk. This is our last chance. We can only do this when your father is in office. Let's stop these people. This is our only chance to stop them from using sociology on anybody again. Okay. You want me to continue reading this now? These problems. I'm going to hook up the microphone again. Maximum after the British military base on Ascension Islands are destroyed, London will be destroyed by an atomic bomb. Uh, let me interrupt here. Uh, Mr. Gwynn, do you want to turn up the volume to make sure that uh, this is going on the air? Just, do you, you hear it now? Let me, get, let me get over here so that you can... I'll get over here. Now, you, you get close and listen. Can you hear me on that set now? Wherever the speaker is, can you hear me now? Yeah, see, we are on the air. Britain won't even fight back. They won't even resist. This will be the fall of Britain, Johnny Cash. You will have 72 hours to tell the Queen to evacuate London. 72 hours after the destruction of Ascension Island. The philosopher star date 12153, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, just after midnight. And that's the end of what you wrote for me to read, uh, Mr. Gwynn. Okay. Do you have anything that you'd like to say? No, no more. Is that it? That's it. And we now, uh, can I say so, something like uh, we now return to our regular yeah. programming? Uh, this has been a special broadcast that Mr. Gwynn uh, insisted that we make. We hope that you understand and will bear with us. We think that his message is a very important one to him. We appreciate your attention. And now we return you to our regular programming.
I got a sweaty palm. I want to shake hands with you. You really do, huh? You bet. I told you I was playing this fair. Did you think I... You didn't trust me all this time. Oh, hell, it's all right. Leave him alone. It's okay. Put down the guns. I have the gun. Back off with the guns. Good evening. Well, after five hours, it is over. What you saw on your air during the last hour were final moments of a terrifying hostage drama. Well, it was acted out in our cool television studios, and it was all too real. The situation, quite simply, is this. A gunman who entered the cool TV studio minutes before our 5 p.m. news is now in police custody. Four hostages, including veteran cool anchorman Bill Close, have been freed. All are safe. As part of the gunman's demands, regular programming here on Cool TV was interrupted at about 9.30 tonight. Now what you've seen and are seeing again, a tape replay of those moments. The gunman, identified as 29-year-old Joe Gwynn, said he had a message to deliver, a message from God about the impending violence Gwynn said he foresees upon the earth. As Close read Gwynn's message and a list of demands, there was a gun, remember this, a gun pointed at his stomach. Following the broadcast, Gwen surrendered without resistance. There's a gentleman that's behind me right now who, well, we're all very proud of, Bill Close. And Bill, um, just would like to get some of your thoughts tonight. What went through your mind during those hours? I guess the important thing to my mind is when do we get this mess over with? Uh, I was very concerned for Louis Villa's safety because every once in a while, uh, Joe Gwynn would uh, get a little excited. He would tense up and uh, he would pull back the hammer on that gun. And as you know, all you have to do is release the hammer and it goes off. You don't pull the trigger. Uh, I was afraid for Louis. I did not want to let myself be afraid uh, because I felt that I had to well, this may sound cocky, I felt I had to be in control of what was going on. And I, uh, and I was afraid that he might, if his demands were not exceeded to uh, use the gun on Louis, and I was prepared to, to go for him. Were you? You bet. Um, what would you have done, grab the gun? No, I wouldn't have grabbed the gun, I'd have hit him where a woman is supposed to hit a man when uh, uh, the man has dishonorable intentions. You would have done it. You're darn right. Uh, he's a heck of a guy. We're glad you're okay. Hey, so am I. <laughs> you have a terrific vacation. I'm going to have a terrific vacation. I think I might go home and uh, kiss my wife. You bet. <laughs> well, shall we close the newscast the way we usually do it? All right. Okay. And that brings us right up to date on the news. So far, the Cool News team. Have a good evening. Good night. This has been Cool News.